Hello teammates and welcome to this month's version of the Commander's Update. This month I'm at the 315th Airlift Wing in Charleston, South Carolina, where I just presided over a great change of command where we say goodbye to Colonel Jamie Fontanella as he heads off to the Force Generation Center at um, Robbins Air Force Base and we welcome Colonel Happy Gilmore and his wife Kathy as they join the 315th Airlift Team. The mission of the 315th Airlift Wing is to deliver a combat ready C-17 airlift expeditionary combat support and air medical evacuation anytime, anywhere. A premier airlift wing for Air Force Reserve Command, integrated, experienced, relevant, and on the leading edge of emerging mission requirements. The 315 airlift wing was a part of the first team last December to test a new system for transporting patients suffering from Ebola, acute respiratory syndrome, and other contagious conditions. The rapidly developed system called the Transportation Isolation System, or TIS, comes on the heels of last summer's Ebola outbreak in Western Africa. The TIS is designed to provide air medical evacuation for patients with known or suspected exposure to contagious and infectious disease and to protect aircraft, aircrew, and support personnel. It provides worldwide patient transport capability in case of a biological event. Since DOD efforts in the support of the Ebola outbreak in Western Africa last year, 315th Airlift Wing air crews have flown over a dozen missions delivering over 200 personnel and 737 short tons of cargo to the region. The TIS is based on an existing military support pallets capable of various patient configurations. Each unit has a disposable liner supported by a metal structure and an, infiltration, or an air filtration system. Negative interior pressure keeps contamination inside the chamber and alarm sounds if negative pressure is lost. A C-17 can carry two full TIS units. Joint Base Charleston received the first two of the 25 systems ordered by U.S. Transportation Command. Additional staging locations will be developed following delivery and based upon ongoing world events. This is just one example of the great thing the men and women of the 315th Airlift Wing are doing for the nation. Until next time, go forth and conquer.